In this video, we're going to show you the fastest way to gear up in the new season and answer the age-old question, do I need to PvE? Because for some of you, the answer might be yes. We're being dramatic, it's actually not that bad. Anyway, with a fresh start to the new season, you probably have a lot of questions. And if you find yourself struggling to climb, remember that skill capped is the only place that guarantees you will gain rating while actively using our service. Otherwise, you can claim a full refund. We do this because our service really works. Now is the best time to join skill cap, as we now offer Mythic Plus guides and will be updating to Cata Classic in the next week. Everything we offer is specifically designed to make sure you can climb rating stupid fast. Join today to get instant access to thousands of guides and free monthly VOD reviews from expert players. So what are you waiting for? Click the link below to get the rating you've always wanted. And with that said, let's get into it. Step 1 will be getting your pre bis gear, which even starts before the patch. So far, honor points have not reset in between seasons, and with a full honor cap, you will be able to completely upgrade your gear from Season 3. Honor gear will be scaled to 515 item level, and yes, to answer your question, that will definitely outscale any gear you had from before. While you might be sad to lose some secondaries, the immediate gain to your main stat, versatility, and stamina definitely make it worth it. If you forgot to cap, don't worry, just head to the auction house the day the patch launches. There, you'll want to buy any Draconic Combatant's gear, which will scale to 502 item level in PvP. If you're a world PvP fan, you will still have the option to farm a full set of gear using bloody tokens, but keep in mind it has a slightly lower item level in PvP. But you might want to farm this gear anyway, since you will still be able to upgrade it to item level 525 using trophies. Just like before, these are obtained from weekly Sparks quests, which reset every Tuesday for NA and Wednesday for EU. So if you want to stay ahead of the curve, be sure to complete this quest on the day of your region's reset, since this is when there is the most world PvP activity. Obviously, you won't have your honor gear forever, and weekly conquest capping is on the agenda. Season 4 conquest gear scales to 528 in PvP, which is an astounding 39 item level leap from Season 3. Remember that your cap is much higher on the first week of the season compared to every week after, and the Great Vault will be making its return yet again, so be sure to unlock all three slots every week and plan your gearing with the RNG Vault in mind. Keep in mind that you will also be able to cap your Vault with BG Blitz in Season 4 as a small teaser of what to expect next expansion. We will get to it later, but be sure to prioritize your tier set and any weapons over anything else when looting the vault. And then obviously, helmet, chest, and leg slots, followed by shoulders and gloves over everything else. The trick with early season gearing involves doing a bit of saving while also praying to have good RNG. Now obviously, your end of season gear will look much different and will include tier sets and crafted pieces. And in case you weren't aware, season 4 tier sets won't exactly be new as the community voted on which bonuses and appearances would return in season 4. We recently made a video all about this by using a tier list of course. Anyway, if you play any of the specs on screen, you will have the exact same tier set as season 3, which means for the most part, you will be gearing exactly how you did in the previous season. You will still have the option to convert conquest pieces to tier sets using the revival catalyst. For the first few weeks of the season, you will be getting one charge every other week to convert gear from conquest to a tier piece that scales up in PvP. It's super important you don't forget about the Dragon Flight Season 4 Master Achievement, which you get from hitting Challenger in PvP. Doing so will award you a token that you can turn in for a free tier piece, and we cannot stress this enough. Be sure to double check that it is the PvP one. Once again, prioritizing helmet, chest, and leggings if you will use those slots for your set bonuses. The token vendor can be found in the parting glass on the east side of Veldraken. Crafted gear will function the same as it did in seasons 1 through 3, and you will need trophies of conquest to scale gear to 528 eye level. Just remember that three free trophies will be granted automatically from a quest item that you get by opening the first strong box of the season, so save your conquest for other items instead. Crafting Season 4 gear will require Sparks of Awakening, which you will also acquire in a limited amount on a weekly basis by combining Splinters with Flight Stones, the same as last season. Then you will need to purchase any remaining reagents from the auction house. And same as always, these splinters will initially be time gated behind weekly PvP quests, but should be rewarded from winning arenas a few weeks after or if you fall behind. Because sparks are limited during the early season, your priority will be crafting or recrafting any embellished slots first using your limited sparks, and then crafting other slots once they become more abundant. This might seem like a lot, so let's recap. First, you will want to get a full honor cap in the preseason, which you will spend immediately on patch day for a full set of gear. If not, just fill any slots with gear from the auction house. 
Then be sure to do your weekly world PvP quest for trophies, and be sure to cap your vault every week. Remember that getting Challenger gives you a free tier set token, and that you can convert any conquest gear to tier pieces if needed using the Revival Catalyst. When this is happening, be sure to get Sparks to craft embellished pieces first, and then any other slot later as the season goes on. Most players can simply stop right here, but we're technically not done yet. Season 4 will also include some upgrades to existing legendaries and potentially some good PvE gear. Both the Evoker Legendary from the early expansion and the Axe from Season 3 will be upgradable using new Scales of Awakening. These items are purchasable with a new currency from vendors called Booleans. These vendors are also located in the Parting Glass on the east side of Valdraken. The Booleans can be acquired from defeating Awakened bosses, but might also be obtainable from a weekly PvE quest. One of these quests is Emissary of War, which has players go out and complete four mythic dungeons. Even without a legendary, you might want to do this anyway, since these vendors sell other PvE items from previous raids, but these effects are still heavily nerfed in PvP. Keep in mind that all of this gear, including the Axe and the Evoker Legendary, will then need to be upgraded using Crests and Flight Stones in order to be brought up to Conquest PvP item level, which means doing even more PvE for the highest quality Crests. Again, for the overwhelming majority of players, you still are not being forced to PvE unless you want to keep your Legendary or min-max your desired secondary stat. And remember, if you need any help in Mythic Plus, Skillcapped also has you covered with a single subscription. With thousands of videos, Discord, support, VOD reviews, and more, there has never been a better time to join Skillcapped.com. We make sure to back everything up with a rank of guarantee because we promise you will become a better player just by using our guides. So, to get the rating you've always wanted, be sure to click the links below for an exclusive discount offer. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this one. We want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.